Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app DocuSign. Right before I get to that, I do want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com which is a really awesome website to get NFC tags, NFC keychains, and also learn all about NFC, including NFC app recommendations for our use with your Android phone that has NFC. So hand over to AndyTags.com after the review and check them out. So DocuSign, very simple app, but very practical. Uh, basically it allows you to sign documents on your phone or with your phone. Uh, by importing them in, you record your signature, and then you just throw that signature on the PDF or whatever the document is, and then you can send it back. Because you know there's all those times people send you a document, you need to sign it, but you don't have a way to print it out and sign it and then scan it and then send it back. Don't have to do that if you have this app. So let's hop on my phone. I'm going to show you how it works, how simple it is and easy it is, and why I think it's definitely uh, an app you should add to your list. Okay, so here you can see we have the app, DocuSign Inc. And that's the app that we're going to use to put our autograph on any documents that uh, somebody sends to us that we need to sign. And uh, we're on our phone. We don't have a way to sign, but we do now. So I'm going to open up the app just to show you what it is and how it works. When you open it up, you can see you have sign and send documents, which holds your previous documents. You tap that, you'll see previous documents you've used. You have your identity, click that. If you haven't already done this, when you download this for the first time, it's going to give you a box for you to sign your name in, and it's not a tiny little box like that. It'll be the full screen, and you can sign it, and you can do it over and over again until you get it right, because it took me a few times to do it to my satisfaction because I'm not used to signing my name with my finger but you try until you get it to actually look like your signature and then also your initials because a lot of times you don't need to sign stuff you just need to initial and so you record your initials as well and you just enter your name because that way it can put a lot of times when you sign something you also have to print your name and it will allow you to uh, do both as you'll see in just a minute and uh, if you wanted to change or edit any of this you would click edit and it would do that so going back to the main screen uh, your account to set up your account uh, the basic account is free but you can upgrade if you're using this for business purposes then you probably want to upgrade your account in order to have access to uh, bigger things and more complex things and then settings it's your basic stuff date format uh, select your sharing platform explain how it works and terms and conditions etc etc so let's go back and let me show you how this works we're going to click sign and send so someone let's say someone's emailed us a document we've saved that document to our uh, uh, external uh, SD card and now we want to bring it into DocuSign so we can sign it and send it so I'm going to use the uh, file explorer there to get to it and let's see where we are now. Yeah, I need to go up and go to the exterior SD card because I saved the file in files. And here we go, doc to sign. So I'm going to click and open that up. And uh, it adds, brings it up here. If you have additional people to sign it, you can add a signer. Uh, but I just need the one. So I'm going to click sign now ready to sign yes we're going to click OK and it's going to uh, import the document and here we are I'm going to make this bigger I don't know if you can read this it says please sign on the line below and return to me right away usually when you're signing something there's a very specific place to sign it so over here you have the options of things you can do to it. You can enter signature, you can enter initial, your name, date, uh, ran uh, random other text, company, title, or a checkbox. Um, right now we just need to sign, so I just need a name and I need to print my name. So first I'm going to do signature, I'm going to hit signature. And you see there's a little signature box right there. You can drag it over to where you need to be. right 
on the line. And that looks pretty small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. For whatever's appropriate for the document. And let's break it down a little bit. So as you can see, it looks in the end just the same as if you had signed it with an ink pen. There we go. And then we're going to go my name, because I need to put my name over there. And uh, you see, it's my name just printed. And we're, this is, for some reason, this box is a little bit trickier to drag. There we go. I'm going to put that over there, I think, because it's trying to interpret whether you're trying to tap inside the box to edit or outside the box to move the whole document or just to move the name. And then we have where we want it. Click OK. And that looks good. So I'm going to click Done. And it says Finish and Close or Finish and Send. I'm going to click Finish and Close. And here's the signed document. Let's open it up so we can see it. And you'll see. Let's get bigger. You can see right there. It's got my name printed and my signature, which looks exactly as if I had just signed it. And now that I have it open, I can go ahead and I can delete it, but I can also share it. Uh, most recently I used Gmail, so it has that already up there, but you could use any method. Uh, it's in the share. Click select all various options you can use, but we'll use Gmail. Just so you can see, it attaches it on the bottom there, and it's uh, it has converted it to a PDF. That's how I always uh, convert it when it's when you're after you sign it, and then you can send it. And so that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, if you click documents, you'll see any documents that you save. You can delete documents out out of there if you want to. You can search for documents. You can choose all documents or documents that are awaiting your signature or out for signature. And you can also use this app to send to other people. That's why it's good if it's within a company and you uh, upgrade an account. But for most people who just want to have something on their phone in case they get that you know, random uh, email where they need to sign something but they're not going to be any place to print, sign, and scan and send back anytime soon, you don't have to do that anymore. Now you can just use DocuSign Inc. Do it all on your phone, send it back to the person, and you're all good to go. That's the app DocuSign. As you can see, very uh, simple app that does something that we all need from time to time. So uh, when you get documents sent to you and all you have is your phone, you're not lost. You can actually sign the document and send it back just using your phone. Also, have, as you can see, has a few other applications that you could use for as well. So, very well made app, very good. Definitely uh, uh, one of those things you'd have on your phone, even if you're not going to use it all the time, just in case for when you do need it. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button down there. If you know anybody who could uh, benefit from having this on their phone, then please share this review with them through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or any of the other methods. Just click the buttons down below. Uh, and subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated with other new Android app reviews or maybe you haven't seen any of the other hundreds of uh, app reviews I have then you can check those out by subscribing. I have other playlists as well with product reviews and uh, tutorials and things like that so you can check those out too. Anyway that is it until next time this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.